What's up guys? Welcome back to finally another vlog. I feel like it's been so long since I talked to you last. Uh, it's been about a month, which is kind of long, but I'm glad to be back in front of a camera nonetheless. It's currently 6.53, and in about an hour, my band Medical Pilot are heading off to our local station to talk about all the stuff we have going on this year, which is kind of a lot. We just put out a single, got a music video for that guy coming out. We've got a bunch of shows to promote that, and then our album comes out in September, and then we have two tours to promote that. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff to talk about, which is good, because we have an hour on that show, and we're probably going to fill that whole time, if not more. Who knows? So I'm going to head off to Dexter's place in, like, 30-ish minutes, and then we're all going to meet up there, and then we're going to head over to the station together. So I will see you guys at Dexter's house. Super huge upside of doing this interview tonight is I don't have to haul any gear. I literally just have to take my camera backpack, and that's it. And that makes me really happy inside. <laughs> Jesse, what are you doing? Printing. <laughs> what are you printing? My SoCan membership. Hey. Oh, no. Mm. You have radio? I got a face for radio, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought you said you have the flash, and I was like, sure. <laughs> is that, dude, is that a tree trunk? Where? This thing right here. What is, what, what on earth is it's this? It's art, bro. It's the biggest fucking eggplant burger. Dude, that, bro. that is a fucking, what this, do you call those things? An eggplant. No, no, it's, it looks like big ginger. <laughs> big ginger? Yeah. My element. Uh, this, I don't it. know if there's a path here. We can't get into the pedway. We can go under it. Crawl under it. Which bill? Is it the left or the right? We're oh, so lost. It's the left one. Let's see if we can try to see it. Oh, yeah. No, I remember this now. Yeah, I smell subway. Yeah, because there's a subway here. <laughs> there's a room at the top, Dexter. There's a room at the top. <laughs> Dude, are you oh, okay. Where is he? We got Damn! Lost. We got so lost. <laughs> uh, an album of music cool. that sort of influences influenced your musical direction. Okay. <laughs> this is all the rock. Cool. We are squished. You just heard the shoebox jingle by Heaviside, who co hosted the shoebox on July 16, 2011. You are listening to the mighty CGSR 88.5 and on the World Wide Web at CGSR.com. My name is Pete the Rocker, and I'm here with Mark, who will someday rock Rogers. AKA Mr. Radio. Right, and I'll yeah. tell you what, that guy is a radio man. We are honored tonight to have that rockin' band called Medical Pilot on the shoebox, and we are honored to have the rockers in. Hello, Medical Pilot. Welcome to the shoebox, and how is it going? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Man. I, I'd like you uh, each to introduce yourself and uh, what you play in the band. Of course. Uh, my name's Dexter, and I do some vocals, and I play guitar in the band. My name is John, and I do some guitar and a little bit of vocals as well. Uh, my name is Jesse, I play guitar, and I do a little bit of vocals as well. My name is Dan, I play the bass, and I also do a little vocals. <laughs> uh, my name is Phil, and I play drums, and as much as I ask, they won't let me do vocals, so I don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> wow, well, that, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a lot of vocals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe you can introduce the next song and tell us about the recording. Caramel Wednesday. Oh, Philip, why don't you do this one? Yeah. Uh, yes, like, talk about this next song? Yeah, yeah what's it about, Phil? Oh, what's it about? Um, <laughs> We're live on air. <laughs> so, with, uh, oh man, this one's, yeah, gonna, nice, this one's nice. a hard one. Uh, our old uh, our old bassist before Dan joined, Jordan Prasad. Jordan Prasad, shut up. Jordan Prasad. Um, he came in uh, with this uh, idea one day, and he I've never seen him, like he, he was, 
the way that Jordan likes to write is kind of like additive. So if somebody else brings in an idea, he likes to work off of that. That day it was different. He came he in. Everything. He came in like a hurricane, and yeah. he's like, "I want this. This is gonna happen here. Yeah. This is where it's got perfect to a T." Yeah, and it, we wrote the song in like a couple day hours. Almost. Yeah, couple hours. Um, in almost one rehearsal, and then uh, when we were deciding on lyrics, um, it was about an explosive experience that he had himself. Yeah, yeah. very it, intimate. Yeah, the song, it, the if the the lyrics really explain themselves. Yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so. Uh, on the mighty CGSR medical pilot. Talking about premature ejaculation. For each of you, what is it like being part of the Edmonton music scene? Oh, it's beautiful. It's such a small, not not small, it's a bigger community, but everybody knows each other. It's a really tight-knit, fun community to be a part of. It's all love. It's really... Just a lot of fun. Yeah, I would say for me, Dexter and Jesse as well. Um, just being, just being involved in the Edmonton music scene for a number of years now. Yeah, close to ten years, I'd say. Um, watching it grow and see just the uh, again the community that that's created and everyone is just looking out for each other and wanting to help one another. And it, it, there's there's not a lot of animosity. Um, so yeah, just seeing the love everyone has for each other is just quite beautiful. Uh, Jesse here, kind of going off what the other two are just saying there. Um, I've I've met so many nice people, like, and they all just become friends, and it's it's crazy, like, uh, I, I I can't even explain how nice people are. It's uh, just nice to meet new people, um, and yeah. Yeah, um, I I really love the music scene here. It's just it, the diversity of just the kinds of, of things that are happening mm -hmm. here. I think it's just it's very healthy. Clearly, just a great creative environment to be in. Um, yeah, it's it's just excellent all around. I think. Yeah, um, I think for me coming into it like as soon as I had turned eighteen and was able to play shows, it kind of like raised me in a sense where like I figured out a lot about how like being a musician and, and being a good person goes really um so yeah gr like i, I kind of grew up a little bit or not a little bit but like I, I found out how to grow up a lot through through the music scene here and, and i think it kind of grew with me too so it's really cool to watch the how it evolves over the mm -hmm. years very cool we're gonna hear a uh, higher up maybe you can introduce the song and the recording yeah absolutely this is another one that we did uh with mike alexander at beardly audio um, it's, uh, it's, it's got the greatest guitar solo of all time. <laughs> and, uh, we have a lot of fun playing the song. We don't play it live very often, uh, but, uh, yeah, we love it so much. <laughs> On the mighty CGSR medical pilot. Hey, proud of you guys. Thank you so much. Keep going, Gay, and yeah, 2020 is going to be year of that album. That's oh, awesome. man. <laughs> Tell us when you release it. Yes, uh, for sure. I want to email you. Yeah. Show. We'll put, put you on Facebook. Put it on. Okay, and done. so send it to me. And, and give your name. Tell me who you are. Because next time you, you say, it's, it's so and so. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now I know who we are. Yeah. I'm so fucking erect. <laughs> Was that Where recording? It, yeah. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? I don't know. I don't know. We, we just finished up. That was fucking that was sick. That was so fun. Yeah, that so was good. amazing. Now what do we do? Quit. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> go <No. home. laughs> Okay, uh, I think we're gonna go home because I'm tired. I'll catch up with you guys back at the house. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just landed back at home. That was super fun. <laughs> Pete and Mark are really fun hosts, and they made uh, they made everyone feel a lot less nervous uh, than I thought we'd be actually, because that was our first like real radio thing ever. Getting the chance to play some of those uh, demos for the new album has was really cool. And I had a couple of my friends text me while they were playing, being like, "Yo, these are sick. These better be the singles," which felt really good to to get. Um, thanks to CJSR for having us out. That was an amazing time. I really want to do more of those in the future because those were so fun. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for those notifications. If you really want to stay up to date, throw me a follow on my Instagram because that's where I'm the most active and post the most day-to-day -day Phil life stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys next week.
thank you for watching. Maybe you'll walk out and see me, but maybe you'll